Hi, for our audience at home, we'll be opening the live stream now. Um, for our first session, we'll have, for our last session of the competition, we'll be um, seeing the 105 to 120 plus men's open division um, compete. Starting now with our squats first attempt, um, we have Gus 187.5. Moves easy. Nice stuff, Gus. Next up on the platform, Angelo, 200 Kalios. You can see Angelo just in the back. Bar is loaded for Angelo, 200 kgs. Should be easy weight, see him do this in training a lot of times. Says thanks to our spotters on the platform there today. On the right, Ian, left, John. Head spotter as well. <laughs> Mali? Angela opening up the squats, 200. Opens fast, nice work. Good stuff. Next up, Paige onto the platform, just waiting, headphones on, chalked up, handled by Raynan today. He's looking good in his blacked out SPD equipment. Raynan competing yesterday, taking four records. And the bar is loaded for Paige. Should be easy weight, seeing him do this in training all the time. Looks like a clean weight. Four reds, one collar, one barbell. Let's make it move. On the deck today, we have Dion doing attempts. Faith on the commentator. Dion hitting some, little bit of Spotify today. A little bit of DJ, a little bit of commentating. Page moves it quick. Nice work. Good lift. Next on the platform, Jamie Barker Stevens, 225, same weight. Four, four reds, one collar, one barbell. Let's see it move. Definitely for this flight. Jamie on the platform, 225. Let's see it move. Big numbers from the guys today. It's the big boys on the platform. 225. Let's see it. Nice. Easy weight. Three white lights. Nick's on the platform. Handled by Raynan. 230 kgs, men's roll open, 120 plus. Let's see it, Penny, on the platform. Big props to our, to our uh, spotter crew here, getting that, getting that barbell raised up for our taller guys on the platform. What a high rack height, probably 18 or something like that. Let's go, Penny, 230, let's see the hype. Come on, Penny. Move it quick. Coach is watching on the side, looking for that dip. Nice. Let's 
Say the ref's call. Say the ref's call. Nice three words for audience at home. Depth is hip crease below kneecap. That's the rule for um, the the squat depth. Next on the platform we have Wayne, handled by Jess from North Shore Barbell, coached by Jason. I'm sure he'll be watching from the UK. Onto the platform now we have Wayne. Debut for APA actually. Opening the squat at 2.30, open. Squats is most confident lift actually. Usually makes us look like RPE4 in training. Let's see it go. Come on Wayne. Nice. Moves it quick. Next up we have David, 230 kilos, just a slight rack adjustment. You heard the commentator say last session of the day if you want to come and see Colmar Sports Center. Bar is loaded. David, 230, let's see it move. Unfortunately, did not make the lift. Walls open up. A little bit of up and down motion. For the audience at home, you do have to get it up in one smooth motion. 240 kgs. Come on, Emmy. It move fast, good opener. Three white lights. Next on the platform, the king himself, Sean King. Looks like he's being handled by Eloise today. Let's see it, Sean. Seen him do this in training many times, so it should be easy wait for him. Bar is loaded, approaches the platform. Small adjustment of the barbell there. Just gets that belt locked up. Racks it. Just getting himself tight here on the bar. Walks it out nice and controlled. Quick. Nice. No eyebrows raised by the referees there. Clean weight. Big audience here today, lots of family and friends. If you do want to come down and support Colmar Sports Center, Papa Toy Toy South, APA is on. Bar is now loaded for Khan Stowers. 
245 kilos, men's open, 120 plus. While audience at home, all lifters have one minute to complete the lift. Locking in, he's got his Titan shirt on. Nice opener, good stuff. So, Sire up now on the platform, 247.5 kilos. Just for our audience at home, our lifters can choose to have the rack pushed in or out. Um, our last lifter had it um, up in a more, more of a triangular position, just for a wider hand, hand position. Um, our next lifter here just has a normal rectangular setup. Um, usually accommodates more of a narrow grip. You will see some of our heavier lifters use a wider grip just for more comfort. Thanks to our APA volunteers on the platform helping today for the big boys. Takes a lot of confidence. Look easy. <laughs> Our next lifter on the platform just wrapping up, handled by Raynan himself. Handling four lifters today. It's a big day for him as well. He competed yesterday. Getting his hands wrapped up, bar is loaded. Marius now on the platform, 255. Come on. It's like dry pineapple. It's kind of interesting actually. He just gave me an open opportunity in the system. Nice work by Marius, 255. Moves it quick. Three hundred and twenty kilos. Another red, blue, onto the bar. Big weight here. By our one hundred and twenty plus raw men's open. One of our bigger openers of the day. Huge. Yeah. Massive. Biggest one of the competition, I'd say. Yeah. Who's who's Oh, okay. Come on, Shah, make it look quick. Oh, birthday for Shah today. Come on, he'll be looking for a big number. Just some small adjustments by Shah, walking it out now. He's locked in. Nice! Good work by Shah. Let's see the ref. Three white lights. Next up we have James on the platform. Just see him talking up right now. Headphones are on. James in the background now. Just getting ready, locked in. Headphones are off, feeling out the atmosphere.
Yeah, that wasn't the biggest opener. 340. Follow on. <laughs> Come on, James. Just on the platform, we're getting a few finer adjustments, as I did mention. Uh, can have the rack positions um, more in the triangular position, just to accommodate a wider um, arm position. And the bar is loaded for James. Come on, James. Move it quick. Come on, James. James walks it out. Big, big arm stance. Gets it up. Nice. Work by James. Three white lights. Big. Applause by the audience here today. Huge audience. If you do want to come down, call my event center. Next lifter on the platform, Gus. It's loading up the. It's loading up the barbell now for Gus. 200 opener. Competing in the men's raw 105, we can see just handler and lifter in the background getting ready. Been in that position before, you do get a bit jittery before getting on the platform, but after you're on, you're on. Bar is loaded for Gus, 200 kilos. Let's see a Gus. Come on, Gus. Angelo now, 215. Let's see it. We can see Angelo in the background, handled by Raynan himself. Chalked up, wrapped up, belt up. Bar is loaded for Angelo, headphones are off, walks onto the platform. Let's see it, Angelo, 215. Got a huge audience here today. Come on, Angelo. Nice, Angelo. Easy. Handler is happy. Coach is happy. Fist bumps all around. David now. Wrapping up. Looks like he's handled by John. Veteran coach there, John, always helping out at events. Handling multiple people, probably 10 plus people in this competition. Big on the tools, helping out a lot. Trains out against strength. David, 230, he'll be reattempting this on his second attempt. Good luck to David. Let's see it move. You can see his media team there. Also just getting a few shots of David. A few words by John, his handler. See, he's just got his mouth guard. He's just probably going to pop that in shortly. Come on, David. Let's go, David. Come on, David. Come on, David. Nice work by David, gets it for redemption. 
three white lights. Page now on the platform again. Handled by Raynan. Page 240. I have seen him do this in the gym before. Should be good work for him. Uh, just getting some salts. Um, locked in. Let's go, Page. Come on, Page. Come on, Paige. Did he just come down? Did he just come down? No, I was helping out back at Oh, yeah. Yeah. Is this how Ray just said? Yeah. Come on, Paige. Moves it quick. Oh, yes. That is. that is quick. Raynan is happy with that lift. Next up on the platform, Jamie. Jamie Barker Stevens. 242.5 but Baker 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 Steven sorry I need some new glasses there man the voice is on the, the eyes on <laughs> and the bar is loaded for Jamie let's see it Jamie 242.5 Again, our lifters do have one minute to perform the lift. It's quite a lot of time, actually. Mm. Is that dry pineapple? Come on, Jamie. Nice lift there. Let's just see the call by the ref. Three white lights. Nice. In the background here, we have Benny, 2.45. Come on, Penny. Handle there by Raynan again. Just belting up. A little bit of chalk for our lifters. This helps them grip the bar, both back and hands. Just a few words of motivation by Raynan there. Bar is loaded. For Penny. Huge rack height. Come on, Penny. Let's go, mate. Smooth on rack there by Penny. Walking it out slowly, controlled. High bar. High bar squat. Squats it down. Looks smooth. Oh, that's nice. Fun. That's fast. That's quick. Just for our audience at home, Penny just used a little bit of a high bar squat, just meaning the bar rests slightly higher up on his back. A little bit unconventional for powerlifters, usually using a low bar squat. But nevertheless, got the lift done. Next up on the platform, Wayne, training out of North Shore Barbell. Coached by Jason, handled by Jess. Let's see the back room. Looks like just uh, Sean King just getting chalked up. Um, just behind the ref there, there is Wayne. Wayne onto the platform, 245. Men's Raw open, 105. Come on, Wayne. Come on, Wayne. Let's go, Wayne. Smooth on rack there. Oh, he sinks that. That is nice. Cool. Good work. Good lift. Sean King out of North Shore Barbell. Also on the mic here with me today is himself, Brogan. How are? Brogan was helping out with spotting yesterday. Now just chilling on the live stream with myself, Ray. We've got Dion and Faith here also helping out with attempts and commentating. Live speaking rather. Let's go, King. King Sean. 
Sean King, 255, done this in training before, should be, should move quick. He has got a bit of a shoulder injury at the moment though, but he's seemed to work through that. Come on, Sean. Fight it, fight it. Nice. He nice. Gets he gets that perfectly. That was a grind, but three white lights. Good work, Sean. Next up. On the platform. 260 kilos for our men's raw open 105. Again, thanks to our spotters here today. Poor spotters does take a lot of confidence to spot these bigger lads. Especially when some of them have to overhead press it. So now on the platform, 260 kilos. Looking like an absolute warm up. Holy hell, that was nice. quick. Wonder what he's going to go for on his third attempt. <laughs> Next on the platform, we have Khan. In the Titan shirt, 262.5 kilos. Big weight. In the background, you can see a few of our lists have just lined up in weight order. Slocking in his belt there, feeling it out, waiting for that heart that's loaded. Come on. Onto the platform now, let's go Khan. Wider grip there. With the camber set up on the rack. Just feeling out that weight on the bar, nice unlock. Come on. Oh, that nice. is quick. That was speedy. He's surely, surely got the five reds on his third attempt. Next lifter, 265. Big crowd now here gathering down at Colmar Centre. If you do want to come support us, Colmar Sports Centre in Papa Toy Toy, South Auckland. The APA is on, last session of the competition on this Sunday evening. Huge crowd here, come down and support. Got the bigger lads are on, 105 to 120. Men's Open. Again, on the live deck, we got Brogan, Ray, Dion, and Faith speaking. 265 now on the bar. Let's see it move. Nice unrack. Walks it out slow. Nice and controlled. Gets a squat command. Nice. Oh, that was. I'm making these signatures for quite warm ups. Nice work. Just for our audience at home, the lifters do get a squat command and a rack command for their lift. Um, and just the hip crease needs to fall below the knees. Um, and that's a good lift. In the back now. Marius, handled by Renan, 270 kilos. The rack is just getting set up. He's chalked up, wrapped up, belted up. Bars loaded now, walking onto the platform. 
270 kilos. Come on, make a move. Marius now, just un just unracking the bar, small adjustments. Gonna be waiting for that, that squat command to descend into the squat. Gets that squat command, nice. Sinks that, easy. Cracks. Nice work by Marius. Applause by the audience. Next on platform, Shah now moving to 335. Big weight, another red. Done it before, but shout out to these spotters. It's not easy being out there, especially with these big guys. I don't know, John himself, he did spot earlier this session. He's making this look like a little cardio session, which is pretty unfamiliar for uh, powerlifters. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. Char now, 335. Come on, Char, make it look smooth. Just some small adjustments here. Spot is looking closely. Lots of weight. Push it. See the ref pull three white lights. Nice. We'll be happy with that. Three hundred fifty-five kilos. Next up, James. Three five five. Just chalking up now. Camera's just slightly out of focus. We'll switch back to the platform view. James now. Back view. He's just get he's belted up. Waiting for that star command on the platform. Bar is loaded, nice. Big energy. Huge audience here today watching this big second attempt from James. Men's open roll, 120 plus. James does have a minute to complete the lift. Unracking it now. He'll be waiting for that star command before he descends into the lift. Walks it out. Big. Push nice. it! Push it! Push it! Nice! Good. Big. Nice lift by James there. A little bit sticky, but he did push through. We'll have to see what his third attempt looks like. Gus now, 205. Changing up the weights. Starting off with Gus, 205. Switch to that back view. Gus now just talking up his hands. Headphones are off, waiting for that command just to get onto the platform. It's not even his head. It's ready. Looks like looks like our lifter is ready. Few words by the handler there. Words of motivation. Probably just cueing a few things on technique. Gus now. Approaches the platform, 205, let's see it move. Yeah, yeah, I did. Let's go, Gus. 
He sinks that. Push it, fight it. I am not quite today. A little bit unfortunate from Gus. He did get 200. So five kilos, just a little bit too much for him today. Next we have Angelo, 220 on the bar. Five kilos more than in seconds. I don't think he was too happy with his second, but we'll see how he performs with this. Chalking up his hands. There he is. Slap from Raynan. Cool, calm, collected. Let's go, Angelo. Come on, mate. Sinks that, fight it, fight it. Not quite today. Good job from the spotters catching that one. Oh, I'll, I'll get Dion as well. Jamie Baker Stevens walks out to 247.5 kilos. Steady walk out. Nice, good job. Real well eyes for Jamie. David, there he is with his. today. Good catch from the spotters there. A little unfortunate I think going one to three on his squats but at least he got a number on the board. Getting hyped to Paige, third attempt. Let's see if he can sink it and get it back up. Oh, he sinks that one, pushes it, fights through. That's a speedy third attempt for Paige. Nice work by Paige there. They 
again on the live stream today with our friend Brogan, Alex, we got Evie down here managing the event, Dion and Faith on commentating. Big crowd, if you do want to come down and support Colmar Event Center, South Auckland, come down and present. Also got Formidable Films doing the media today. Helping out, we are sponsored by Ray's Lower, just selling some stuff at the back of the event. If you do want to get some powerlifting equipment and get involved, get in touch with anyone, one of your mates. A lot of good coaches coaching out of Auckland. Penny now, 255. Third attempt. Getting hot for it. There he is. Big weight for Penny. Let's see it move. Controlled. Lots of energy by Penny here today. Let's see it. He sinks that five oh, oh, He takes his third for a walk. What do the judges say? Did he get it? He got it. Three white lights. He wasn't happy with it, but he absolutely walked through the park with that one. He must be he's gonna be ecstatic after that. Wayne now. Wayne now opening his last attempt, 255, his debut for Auckland powerlifting. Coached by Jason, handled by Jess. Let's see it move. It's cool, calm, and he's collected. Wayne, usually his strongest lift here with the squat. He's been squatting for a long time. New to powerlifting, but his debut, 255, let's see it move. I'm sure Jason's watching at home. His boy, Wayne. Come on, he nice! He... Wow. Wow. He walks that one. That is simple for him. He's gonna be ecstatic. Jess with a slap on the back. Good job. Sean King now. We see him in the back, handled by Eloise. <laughs> See our media team on the left, Dana there, helping out with media. Thanks to all of our volunteers making today possible. Bar is loaded for Sean King, 262.5. We see what he can do. Come on, Sean. The Zen master, under the bar. Tightening up. <laughs> Push it, Sean. Come on, come on. on. Oh, Ooh. A little bit unfortunate. Doesn't have it. Not quite here today, but he still has his bench and deadlift up. I'm sure he'll be looking forward to making back that total here today. Into the back room now. Probably just getting some fluids in for his next lift. Next on platform, 272.5. But a huge crowd here. I need a new event center soon for this. Bar is loaded. Bar is loaded, 272.5. His last two squats absolutely flew. Let's see what he can do with this. Doesn't quite have five reds on there, but. I'm sure this will be a PB for him. Come on. Smooth unrack. 272.5. Nice. Sinks that one, Andy. Third attempt! Wow! That looked like a first attempt. Nice. All three of those look like warm ups. Marius now. Big milestone, five reds. Five reds, Marius, handled by Raynan himself. Training out of Get Strength. It's one of the key powerlifting gyms here in Auckland. I think that's in Penrose. Yes. Penrose, yep, there's another powerlifting gym up in North Shore Barbell. North Shore Barbell, that's where myself, Rogan, hail from. I think it could be a slightly better gym, but we don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Easy, 
you say superior? Bit of, bit of contention oh. here on the live stream, yeah, but here we have Marius now. Nah. On the platform, 275, five reds, one collar, one barbell. Let's go, Marius. Forecasted for first in the men's raw open 105. This is a uh, 15 kilogram compia. 15 kg compia. You heard it from this man, Dion. <laughs> I'm sure they train closely together at Get Strength. Come on, Marius. Nice! Oh, Fight it! Come on, get it up! Nice That's sleep. five reds. Five reds from Marius. He's going to be absolutely stoked with that. Three white lights. Wow. You heard it there. He had more in the tank. Khan now in the back, 277.5, chalking up his hands. Handled by the gentleman in the Apex Strength shirt. Yeah, we, we gotta get him, get him I'll be back. Even, even like, do it from your house, bro. I'll make it here. Twitch, Twitch streamer? <laughs> <laughs> we get donations. <laughs> <laughs> you know what would be cool? If we get questions, like live stream questions. Bro, you're gonna need to do some like, research into these live streams if we yeah. do that. <laughs> Under the bar with the cambered Alika rack. Powerful unrack. Powerful. Yeah. Will the squat be powerful? Let's see. Come on, Khan. Powerful is an understatement. Wow, nice. that was quick from Khan. That's an easy third attempt. As Faith did, easy third attempt. Shout out to Faith on the mic. Kilos, a bit more than our. Got another 2.5 on there. Come on, 280 kilos. We're seeing some big numbers here, Bal. Big lads. Steady on rack. That's wow. big. Is that a nice. third attempt? Is that a third attempt or is that a first attempt? Shark. 340 kilos. This is a huge third attempt. Potentially closing out his flight, I'm not too sure. We'll take a look. Had a request for a song change for this final third attempt. Purple Lamborghini now going to be playing on the loudspeaker. Chuck it on. Let's get hyped. <laughs> and the bar is loaded for Shah. 340 kilos. Testing the weight. Come on, Sha. 340 kilos. Smooth lock out there. Locks will, locks will lead these out. No, he doesn't. What's happening here? It's the re rack. He's only got five seconds. What happened there? Fortunate for Shah there. 
Just ran out of time. Not sure what the rear rack was for though. We have to get clarification on that. So just for our audience at home, all of our lifters do have. Uh, he wasn't in star position. Confirmation from Evie. Evie knows better than most out there, so we'll trust her on that. Yeah, so for our audience at home, to receive the start command, you do need lock knees and the bar needs to be controlled. Um, so that was the issue there, and then just ran out of time. So, unfortunate for Shah, but moving on now, uh, we do have James approaching the platform, getting ready. 365, we just see him. 800 pound squat, quick conversion done by Dion. On the fly, he knows his numbers. Three. Freedom units. Almost seven plates is that. James now. 365. Six plates. James now. Closing out with 365. Nice unlock. Walks it back. Can he, can he get the start commands? This is a huge amount of weight. Nice! Watch it! Oh, wait. Does he get it? What the wrist say? What are the judges say? Three white! Three white lights. Crowd is just going insane right so now. the crowd. Gives the judge the handshake. Amazing sportsmanship. Just thanking our judges here today for volunteering their time. Now. Light B, opening up with Nick on the platform, training out of North Shore Barbell, coached and handled by John. We can see them, both of them, in the background. Smile on his face. He'll be glad to get this first squat out of the way. It's usually the most nerve-wracking one in front of the audience. He's had an interesting prep, a couple back injuries hindering him, but he's not going to let that him stop him today. Again on the left there, John, helping out with handling, coaches a number of athletes here today, including Nick himself. He has handled three days in a row, that's a big performance from him. Couldn't do it without them, so shout out to all the handlers and coaches out there. Come on Nick, just waiting for that uh, rack Smile to get ready. We'll switch now to the rack. The bar is now loaded for Nick. Come on, Nick. Come on, Nick. Three white lights by Nick. Oppo Lossi, 200 kilos. with his luscious locks. Walks up to the bar. 200 kilos now. Come on. Again, if you do want to come down and support us, Colmar Event Center, South Auckland. Our last session of the competition, Auckland Championships. Many, many competitors trying to qualify for nationals, so we've seen some pretty big numbers. It's a well-organized event, hosted by APA. We have Faith on the speaker, Dion taking attempts, Brogan commentating with me today, Evie running the event, lots of spotters, handlers out, helping with the event. It's on, it's on, it's on a playlist. It's on a playlist. Got a lot of rap and hip hop playing today for our lifters here today. The preferred choice of music. I think the lighter lifters. 
drum and bass usually for the lighter lifters. Here now. Liquor now. 215 kilos. Trains at both get strength and North Shore Barbell occasionally. Mainly get strength. Clarification there from me. But he prefers training out of North Shore Barbell. Word on the street is he might be converting. He does bring the energy when he does come from North Shore Barbell. Next on platform, Paul. 235 kilos. Looks like we're using all of our reds here today. All of them being utilized. No wastage. No wastage. Session no. one, apparently, we had to go, go to the back room and grab more reds. Outrageous. And the bar is loaded for Paul. Paul here now. Just making some slight adjustments, getting locked in. Paul with a high bar. We've seen a couple of people lifting high bar today. Nice. Sinks that. Easy. Nice up, Paul. Just for our audience at home, we are on flight B for squats. General rules for squats, you receive a squat command, a rack command, and to hit depth, you just need to get your hip crease below knees. That's what you need. No downwards motion on the way up. One smooth upwards motion makes the lift a good lift. That'll get you three white lights and a successful lift. To get the start command, you just have to lock your knees out, be steady with the bar, and then the head judge will give you the start command, and then you're all going from there. Now, bar's loaded. 245. Big crowd here assembled today. All watching contently. 245. Waiting for that start command. Squat command, sorry. Nice. Fights it. Gets it up. Good opener. Three white lights. Let's just transition to our now Ridma trains out of North Shore Barbell, handled by Karen. Wrapped up, locked in, black colorway for his SBD suit. Goes by Superman. Goes by Superman. He's locked in, handled by Karen there. Just gonna give him listening out for that bar is loaded command from our speaker Faith here today. He's changing up his songs onto what he's listening to. Just getting that, that belt up onto his waist. He has gone up a weight class for this competition. He was a, what, 105 kilo lifter, now... Now 120 kilos. And the bar is loaded for Ridma. Let's see what he can do with his opener. Now, interesting stuff from... 111 kilos. Very Good sportsmanship, low. just says thanks to our spotters here today. Come on, Ridma. Let's see it. Light stuff for Redma. Interesting prep for Redma. Did not have a peak block. It's just straight into it. Treating this session just like another training session. Squats it fast. Nice. Up. Oh, easy. As expected, successful lift. Three white lights. Not raising any eyebrows from the refs. Carl, 255. Men's Raw, open 120. The attempts coming in fast. Dion getting them down. Oh, yeah. 
How'd we do? Carl, apparently he's enjoying his last night at the Warriors game. But now, he's lifting at 3.01pm, 2.55. It's not an uncommon sight. Sometimes you have an accountant balancing their balance sheet, but then they're lifting 300 kilos the next day. Boom! Carl, no question. Easy. Stanley, 265 on the barbell, got that blue, looking clean with the collars, just for our audience at home, those collars do weigh 2.5 kgs each, contributes to the overall bar weight, barbell weighing 20, red weighing 25 each, blue, standard 20 kilo player. Stanley now on the barbell. Just making some finer adjustments. Receives a squat command, nice. Into the hole, up, quick. Nice. Good lift. Nice. Two hundred and seventy kilos now being loaded up. Again, this is flight B for the squat session. Our last session of Auckland Championships down here at Colmar. If you do want to come and support us, do come down. Yep, for the APA, run by the APA, you will see some huge deadlifts being pulled. We've got two hundred and seventy kilos. Walks it up tidy. Kids it out in SVD top to bottom. Nice. Good lift. Nick now 200 this is a big milestone number for him he has hit this in training he's looking to hit it on his second attempt let's click back to the back screen we've got Nick with handler John John helping putting in a huge shift for Auckland Championships coaching and handling multiple members bar is loaded for Nick approaches the barbell let's see it clean Nick. cool 200 let's go Nick Bro, go hot. <laughs> just have it. I mean, if you want, bro. Come on, Nick. Locked in. Nice. That looks like it. That's good from Nick. He'll be happy with that. Three white lights. Clicking back now. Walking just into the back. Who's up next? Pelosi, 220, competing in the men's raw, 120. Bar is loaded. He's just going to be approaching the bar, just looking for that command from our speaker here today, Faith, doing a good job. She was on the tools yesterday as well. Dion taking attempts with Brogan. If you do want to come down and support us, Colmar Event Center. Evie also working hard to coordinate the event. If you do want to come down Colmar Event Center, you'll be seeing some big deadlifts by these big fellas here today to close out Auckland Championships. Easy. Sheffield winner, by the way. Sheffield winner. No easy task. Come on, 220. Ooh, let's see. Multiple world champion. Looked a little bit high. Two white lights. Gets the lift. Good second attempt. Two 
It's a lot of yarns by us, but there is a lot of volunteers behind the scenes helping out, packing up, cleaning up, managing the warm-up room, handlers, coaches, audience coming out to support their family and friends. Huge effort, a lot of music and tunes. Playing, come down if you do want to see some big deadlifts. Colmar Event Center, up onto the platform now. Lekka, 227.5 for Lekka. He does train both Get Strength and North Shore Barbell. Has some pretty cool dreads. I'm sure he got it lined up by his barber. Nice! Come on, push through it. No eyebrows raised from the judges there. I'm sure three white lights. As expected for Lekka, nice lift. Paul now, 245. In the back, Paul, getting ready, 245. He's got his belt on. Just waiting to come out onto the platform. Bar looks to be loaded, just waiting for our speaker Faith just to confirm that. Bar is loaded. For Paul. Paul, now, 2.45. He squats it. Now, up, out of the hole. Let's Easy. see. What was the depth on that? Three white lights. Good lift. Sean. Sean now 252.5 kilos. He'll be in the back. He's ready, strapped up. He's got his red SPD, red and black colorway SPD just on the left there. Waiting for the bar to be loaded and confirmed by our head rep and head spotter. He'll give the confirmation. Just tightening it up. Bar uh, looks to be loaded, just, just tightening up the collars. Just tightening up the collar there on the right. By Ian Shook. Ian also putting in a big shift, handling and spotting multiple people over the last three days. Shout out to Ian, absolute veteran. Now, Paul, Sean, sorry, onto the platform. 252.5 kilos wide arm position there accommodated by the rack being adjusted inwards waiting for that squat command by our head ref shout out to our refs here today volunteering their time gets the squat command let's see it nice push fights through it what do the judges say bit of a fight but comfortable there three white lights Back into the room, Ridma training out of North Shore Barbell, handled by Karen. Ridma does actually train himself out of North Shore Barbell, but also also does a little bit of personal training. Karen there working in finance, just locking in. He's probably got some tunes playing. Waiting for the bar to be loaded. Just behind one of the officials. Two sixty-seven point five. Ridma going for a qualifying total. Two sixty-seven point five. Approaches the barbell, nice and calm. Nothing he hasn't done in training before. Just taking this day like another day in the gym. No peak for Ridma. Looking to qualify on his second attempts. Nice. 
decked out in the black colorway gear. Just small adjustment on his footing. Looks up all the riff. Nice. Squats it up. Good stuff by Redma. Quicker than his opener even. Smooth racked. Next up, Carl, 270. Just slightly below the five reds at 275. Switch to the back handle. Carl, 270, waiting for that bar to be prepped up for him to lift. Carl on the left, just behind the official. Nice beard lineup, must get that done fresh. Carl now on the platform. 270 kilos. Looks like he's locked in. Come on, Carl. Ooh, quick out of the hole. Speedy. No question about that. Stanley now, 280 kilos. She get a photo of us commentating. Come, bro. Come. Dion. Bars loaded now for Stanley, 280 kilos. Come on, Stanley. Nice work by Stanley. Good lift. Sun now coming down through the shutters. It's a good day here if you want to come and support. 290 kilos now loading onto the bar. Seeing some big numbers by our heavier lads here today. Again, we've got our last session of Auckland Championships playing out the 105 to 120 plus men's. We are down at Colmar Sports Center if you do want to come down and support the APA. Come down, we'll be seeing some huge deadlifts and benches soon. So let Paul stop. Family in the crowd. Let's see what he can do with a second. <laughs> Come on. That looks quick. Nice. Nice work. Huge applause out of the audience. Now, onto our third attempt, flight B. Third attempt, we'll be seeing our lifters use their maximal efforts to hit the biggest weight possible. Third attempt, opening the third attempt will be Nick, handled by John. Nick just chalking up his hands. We've also got Rafi in the background handling a few guys. Jess and Eloise out. I'm sure Jess needs a vape after a big session yesterday. Nick now. Bar is loaded for Nick. Onto the platform. Let's go, Nick. Attempts coming in on our left, handled by Dion. Nick now unloading the bar. 210. This is PB territory. Nice, Nick. Drive. Oh, that's quick for That Nick. is quick. Good stuff. Three whites. He's gonna be happy Three with that. white lights. Moving like an opener right there from Nick. Loaded now for Ben. Come on. Ben also goes by the name of Lekka. Come on, Lekka. 
Big support here by for Licker. Ah! Oh, not quite. Just a bit too heavy today. Gets an applause by the audience. Good job to the spotters catching that one. Wouldn't be able to do it without them. Again, thanks to all of our spotters and volunteers here today. There's a lot of work being put on behind the scenes to set up, pack down, spot, load, commentate. Speaker, the, um, coordination, Dion, <laughs> yeah, if you do want to come down, meet Dion, <laughs> you can meet Dion, me and Brogan, biggest 74s out of North Shore Barbell. <laughs> Shout out to North Shore Barbell. Best gym in Auckland. In Wairau Valley, up on the North Shore. Now we've got Paul, 250 kilos, let's do it Paul. Got the tunes blasting now. Oh, can he fight oh, through? Can he it? No! Oh, not quite. Good cash on the spot. It's unlucky for Paul. Almost. Unlucky, but. Oh, still has a smile on his face, though. Sure, now. 260 kilos. Coached by Jason Clark. Jason, I'm sure he's watching out there. Sorry, mistake there by Brogan. This is Sean. The other Sean also in this flight. And they come on the pepper and turn it down. Okay, get the lift and just crack it right back up. be confused by Sean King. Apologies for that error earlier in the stream. Two hundred and sixteen kilos for Sean. Let's see it. Third attempt. Maximal effort. Fights through it, he gets it up. Nice. What a rip thing for that lift. Three lights. Five reds on the barbell for Ridma. Coming out of North Shore Barbell, owned and operated by Jason Clark. Shout out to Jason Clark. Some, some, some would say he's the best coach out there. kilos walking out the bar jumping what can he do with this can he take the five reds for a walk in the park It's ticked off. Good job, Rudman. Does he get the fist bump and tap on the back from Karen, his handler, on the day? And it's 
Faith has just said the bar is loaded for Carl, walking out to 280 kilos for his third attempt. Come on, Carl. 280 kilos. Give him oh one white. Unfortunate for Carl today. He still got it up, so he does have to be proud of that. Two hundred and ninety-five kilos here for Stanley. On his third attempt, a flight two on the day. <laughs> Come on, Stanley. Two, 295. Come on. Nice work by Stanley. Let's see the reps come on. Two white lights, one red. That's all you need. Faith announcing last squat of the flight, last squat of the day from Foul, walking up to 305 kilos on the bar. Let's see if he can get it, last squat of the day. The music getting cranked up here by Dion. Let's get behind the last squat, everyone, come on. just over there talking to the head ref. I wonder what that's talking about. This may play into his favour, you know, a little bit of an extra breather. Oh, the judges going on for a little huddle, talking about something. We'll get clarification on what they're talking about in a moment's time. We'll see what they are talking about in a moment. They are having quite a heated discussion. Faith going over to find out. Oh, she will pass on the message. Okay, Faith, what's Faith what is the call? Out. Faith what's does not quite game? know. That's unfortunate. <laughs> Hopefully, nothing bad is going on. More importantly, the bar is loaded. Come on, 305 kilos. Last squat of the day. Let's go. Big weight here, 3 or 5. Last squat of the day down here at Colmar Papatoito. Clean, unwrecked, and a Powerful. controlled walkout. What can he do? Plus 15 kilos. Moves Sinks it. it. Fight it! Oh, not quite on the day. Spotters catch now, and shout out to the spotters. Shout out to everyone here today. That's it for the squats. That's it for the squats. We will take a small intermission um, before our bench session. Um, we will be back in around 10 minutes to start the flight A bench. Um, 10 minute intermission, as I mentioned. Um, so we will be back to stream the bench press. Um, 10 minutes.
Uh, for our viewers at home, we'll be starting up the bench press session for our 105 to 120 plus men's session um, shortly. And we'll be starting up with Angelo. We'll be opening the bench session at 122.5. Did you lose? Someone's going to keep taking them outside. Like every time I leave, they take it outside. They're Dion just saying if they want to lift off to let the head spotter know. Lift off just gives the lifter a little bit of an, some would say an advantage. Just gets the bar out onto their, their chest a little bit easier. As a summary for the bench press, the lifter's looking for three commands. The start, press and rack command. Um, the lifter does need to wait for the press command before pressing the bar back up and the rack obviously before racking the bar. Other than that, uh, the lifter receives the press command once the barbell is controlled on the chest, um, similar for the rack command. Now on to Wayne, who will be opening at 137.5. Again, Wayne, Wayne's first competition handled by Jess, just in the background here. Wayne coming off a 10 kilo squat PR. Let's see what he can do with the bench here today. We're just waiting for the spotters here to just adjust their racks. Shout out to the spotters. We got Head Spotter in the white and Muffy. Hasn't competed himself, but he's out here helping putting in the shift. We got John there. Athlete. Then we got Joe here as well. He's fresh out of Australia, two weeks in New Zealand. Shout out to him. And then we got Ahmed over there helping out. Shout out to the spotters. Wayne now on the platform, 137.5 kilos. There we see chalk on his back, helps him grip the bench a bit easier. Unrack. Come on Wayne. Speedy. That's an opener right there. Nice work by Wayne. What are these? Oh, no, no, no. I'm not spicy. Is it too chilly? Nah, not really. Now, David, looking to open at 145. Again, this is our first uh, couple of bench presses of the bench event down here at Colmar Event Centers on Flight A for our men's 105 to 120 plus. Um, for the bench press, uh, some of our lifters do get a loadout by um, head spotter there. Just gets the bar into position. It's got a close grip there. A bit more tricep involvement. He gets it. Speedy. Is loaded now at 145. Fast, just like a squat. Nice. There we see him with the change of shoes. Next on the platform, Jamie, same weight, 145. In the background there, Sean King getting ready as well. Likely next on the platform. Bar is loaded. Just a bit of chalk on the hands. Now onto the platform, Jamie, 145. See it, Jamie. Nice work by Jamie. Light touch there on the chest. Next on the platform, we have Sean, Sean King. As mentioned by Faith, 
representing North Shore Barbell. Just waiting for the bar to be loaded. Now, Sean King onto the platform. As we said earlier, he is battling a bit of a shoulder injury, but he has mentioned that it's not affecting his bench, so we'll see what he's able to do with that. Nice unrack. Ooh, bit of a struggle there for his opener. Does he get it? Two whites. That's a good lift. He's on the board. Nice work by Sean. Dust now. 152.5. Bar uh, is loaded for Gus. That's quick from Gus. Three whites. That's a good lift right there. For those of you at home that aren't too familiar with the sport, you need at least two white lights to get a good lift. Three effectively means that it's a perfect lift from the a unanimous decision from the judges. Bar is loaded for Penny. No lift off for Penny. Penny now, 152.5 kilos. Competing in the men's raw open 120 plus. Come on, Penny. Clean. Clean from Penny. What do they think? Three whites. Three white lights now in the background. Paige, getting ready. 167.5 kilos. Two reds, a blue, silver, and a collar. Just behind the official there. Bar is now loaded for Paige. He's just asking Muffy there for a light lift off. Three white lights. Could be happy to get on the board with that lift. Can't stole us. Same weight. Slight adjustment in the rack heights. Bars loaded. In the Titan. Singlet. touch speedy bench nice marius now being handled by Raynan 177.5 kilos a little over three red plates which is a milestone left for most people out there but i'm sure for marius it's going to be a walk in the park it's just an opener they do like to take it nice and easy for their opener typically it kind of just feels like a bit of a warm-up really Marius now just wrapping up his wrist straps, just gives a little bit of extra support. Opening at two and a half kgs under his all-time best in competition, I think. Wow, opening two and a half kilos under your all-time best. He must have had a good off-season. Marius now onto the bench, just sitting up. <coughs> New rule from the IPF, no feet on the platform, but that's why he keeps it in the air. 
off the rack. Light press, nice. Shark, next. 190 kilos. everything well today just explaining his loadout to the head spotter looks like quite a light one it's a little bit shaky but gets the commands he's down sinks it fights it easy nice Seeing a little bit of a deeper touch there. Different different techniques used by different lifters. All have their advantages. A little bit more explosiveness from the sinking bench. However, it comes with that. A little bit more, more extra range of motion. So they do have to toss up, which is more beneficial for them. And here we see Ami coming out. Just letting the... Kids want to know what he wants. Mm. What is it, Brogan? Is it a deeper bench is more dynamic, or I'd say yeah, more dynamic, more explosiveness, because they can kind of send through more force through the body, through right. their legs. Right. Where a lot of the lighter touch are just more important. That was a quick bench. Wow. Okay. Nice. Yeah. Typically, a lot of the lighter lifters do like to opt for that soft touch because right. they don't have as much body fat yeah. to uh, utilize that sink. So maybe more of the lifters here today, maybe a bit more dynamic. Bit yeah, deeper. you would think so. However, as we've seen with some of these lifters, they do prefer that lighter touch. Yeah. Obviously, that's the best, good thing about lifting is you know, no two people are the same, really. True. And they really just, you know, they'll adapt to whatever they, they choose. Sweet. James now on the platform at 212.5. James there, takes off his own there. It's always nice to get your own out of the way. It's usually the most nerve-wracking of the three lifts, really. Here we are onto the second attempt of the bench press here of Flight A. Announced by Faith. loaded for Angelo. He's just currently getting chalked up before he goes out. The chalk just helps keep the bar in place a little bit because when you've got so many lifters going through there is a little bit of body fluid, sweat that can, may get onto the bar. It can lead to a little bit of slipping but that chalk is utilized to try prevent that. work by Angelo there. He'll be happy with that. In the back room, Raynan gives him that fist bump. Good stuff, Angelo. Wayne now looking to attempt 145. Just waiting for the bar to be loaded. And headphones off now onto the platform. Wayne walking out. Wayne just taking that that bench now. Does up for that lift off. Gets the command. 
Sinks it. Nice. Wow. That moved quick. No surprise. Three white lights. And for our audience at home, usually bench is the most technical lift. Um, your heels need to be planted on the ground as well as your glutes. Is it back and head as well, Brogan? Correct. Or? So the head does have to be on the bench. The upper back needs to be on the bench too. Mm. The glutes, the feet, heels have to be on the floor. And then to get the commands, they do need to lock out their elbows. And then from then on, they can drop the bar down onto their chest. When the bar is stationary, they get the commands. They push up, lock out, and that's a good lift. Oh, not Ooh. quite. Good catch there from the spotters. Three reds, unfortunately. Not quite there today for yeah. David. Shout out to John and Ahmed there for catching that one. Two of our spotters here today, alongside Muffy in the head spot. Joe there, fresh out of Australia. And they've got Ian, not quite on camera, but he's over there, helping out with the weights. Couldn't do without them, so shout out to the spotters. Shout out to the volunteers. So I come up for a second. So far, every single one of his lists have looked like a warm up. So we'll see if he can continue that trend. Yeah. Oh, yes. A light sink there. Wow. Nice work. Is this an RPE 5 day for Josiah? Looks like he's having an epic day here down at Colmar Centre. If you do want to come down and support the APA, we're down here at Colmar Centre watching the men's 105 to 120 plus last session of Auckland Championships. Big crowd here, here tonight, this evening. And the bar is loaded for Jamie. 152.5 kilos. Just explaining his loadout there to the head spotter. Getting ready for his next lift will be Sean King. Just in the waiting area. Jamie now. Nice. That light touch. Does he quite sit? That's a good lift. Good lift. Three white lights. Now, Sean King. Getting chalked up. Zoned in. Handled by Eloise. He's currently chalking up those back. We you see Jess in the background. That's Wayne's handler. Wouldn't be able to do it without the handlers today. Sean now, 152.5. Let's see it, Sean. Now, his first one did move a little bit slower for. For an opener, so he still goes up by five kilos, so we'll see what he can do with it. Receives a star command. Light touch. Fight it. Oh, it doesn't quite get it. Good catch there from the spotters. It does look like their shoulder may be playing a role in his performance here today. But he has put some numbers on the board, so you do have to be happy with that. Next on the platform, Gus, 157.5 kilos. It's been a good day for Gus so far. Totaling in at 352.5 right now. Very light lift off there for Gus. Light touch. That's quick. That's a good looking second attempt. Three white lights. Penny now. In the waiting area, chalked up by Raynan. Just gets a little bit of chalk on his hands, waiting for that load.
jump on the mic there for that one. Now Penny looking to hit 162.5 kilos. Hop in for self lift off. Some lifters do prefer that because they feel like they can control the weight a little bit more. Slow descent, sinks it. Very long pause. Nice. Speedy. Work. Lifter is happy, handler is happy. And more importantly, the judges are happy because that's three whites. Good work by Penny. There we Third see. attempt being submitted by Renan now in the background. There we see three red plates going onto the bar. Now, Paige, 175. Three reds. It's a milestone lift for some. Probably just an easy attempt for him here, though. Headphones on our lifters, just zoning in. Onto the platform, Cage now, 175. Light touch there for Paige. Looks like a good lift to me. What do the judges think? Yep, one, two, three, white lights. I was loaded for Khan, walking out to 180 kilos. That would be four typical gym plates. However, here, it's three reds. A black and a collar. <laughs> it's an to re rack it. I wonder what that's for. I believe that's for his elbows. So you do need to lock your elbows out to get the start commands. That looks better to me. Gets the commands. Light touch. Oh, down motion eye doesn't quite have it here today. Good catch here from the spotters. Next on the platform will be Marius opening his second attempt at 185. Strapping up and handled by Renan. 185. Just getting locked in. And the bar is loaded for Marius. Now onto the platform. One eighty-five. I believe it's five kg comp PR for Marius. There we have from Dion confirming five kilo comp PR on a second attempt. Second wow, attempt. second attempt. You don't hear that too often. One ninety for his third. Oh, we'll see what he can do. First, he's got to hit the second. Light touch. Yeah, I think he's going for 190. That was quick. Nice. Five. That's going to be quick. Three whites. He'll be happy with that. We'll see, yes. if, we'll see if Dion's correct with the 190. But next up, we have Shah. 197. Shah. 197.5. It's just been whispered. There will be a record attempt in the third attempt. But first, Shah. Now, 197.5. Just shy of 200 kilos. It's, it's hard to see there, but you can see some blocks placed just below the bench press. Some lifters do prefer that because it gives them a little bit more advantage, leg drive. For the lift. <laughs> the bar is loaded for shard, getting some ammonia, piping up for the lift. For our audience at home, the ammonia just helps fire up the adrenaline. Shah now, 197. Does he get the command? Here's the command. Sinks it. Come on, get it up! Get it up! What are the judges think? Is that a good lift? That's Big white, good lift. 197, applause from the crowd. He's happy. In the back now. 
the same weight, 197.5. Just getting ready. Headphones in, just popular with a lot of our lifters. Just let them zone in, and the bar is loaded. 197. Guys, get the slap on the back. Very light touch. That's nice. a quick second. He'll be cracking into the 200s for his third attempt. Then here we have James. It is hard to see, but there you can see James. He's just standing on a wet towel. A lot of lifters do like to do that before they go out for a bench because it does add a bit more grip. Because sometimes the, uh, there's a lot of chalk and a lot of stuff that may get onto the lifting platform, which could hinder the lifter's um, grip. Now James, 222.5, just shy of four plates, is that broken? Yep, it's four just plates, shy. Just shy of four plates. Yeah, four yeah. plates being 225. He takes the bar, gets the command, sinks it. Nice. That's quick. Very That's quick. quick. Wait. That is huge. He'll be going for four plates on his third attempt. You'll notice now four to five spotters spotting the bench press. Going back to Angelo. Just tightening up his wrist wraps. Get Angelo, in. yep. Handled by Renan, tightening up those wrist wraps, just like Brogan said. Because they are not allowed to do it on the platform. That is a IPF rule, but they do have to just tighten them off the stage before walking on. But is that right? Not, I'm, not yes. on I'm not sure if that's a new rule, but uh, I have seen a few lifters get sent back to um, to redo their wrist wraps. So they get a re-rack command? Or... Yeah, so they will just get sent back out off the stage to, to okay. put their wraps back yeah. on. Yeah. 132.5 now for Angelo. Jiggling around, getting comfortable, sitting up, light lift off, he's good. Again, the glutes need to be firmly seated onto the bench. Very light touch. Push through it, nice. lights it. That looks like a good lift to me. What do the judges think? There we go. As Faith nice. said, he pushed through that, he got the three white lights, he'll be happy with that. I think that's six from six for him. Here yeah, we have Wayne. He's zoning in with Handler Jess, trying to take his headphones off him because you cannot take those out to the stage. I think quite a few lifters here would like it if they were able to take their headphones out, but uh, you cannot do that. Yeah. Wayne marching out to the bench press. He sets up. He does opt for that lift off. Yeah. He's tight. Gets the command. Sinks it. Nice. Wow. That will be a PB for him, and that will look like a warm up. That is good job for Wayne. I know this is his first competition, isn't it? Right? David now attempting 150 kgs. His second attempt for the day at 150 kgs. Fortunately, he missed it on his second attempt. Looking for redemption. 150 kilos. Yeah, as Faith just said, these are some monster benches. These numbers are usually quite impressive for a squad and deadlift, but uh, yeah, nah, they're out here pushing it off their chest. Nice! Oh, come on. Quite come on. On. Oh, he doesn't quite have it here today, unfortunately. Three reds. Again, if you do want to come support our lifters down at Colmar, Colmar Center, Colmar Center as, that's the one, as mentioned by Dion, 
we have the men's 105 to 120 plus competing here this afternoon into the early evening. And flight A of the bench press. We will have one more flight to go, then we'll be on to the deadlifts. Yeah, as Faith said, we're only on flight one of two, so there's plenty of more we'll be, we'll be big lifts to come. There you go. So I'm hoping everyone got their training sessions in before this competition today. Lights are no, not quiet for Jamie. That's unfortunate. He did get his first two, only a 2.5 kilo jump for his third. Can't be too upset with only missing out on that. And Josiah coming out. He has hit five warm ups so far, so we'll see if his sixth. Third bench of the day is a warm up as well. It's a bit cold, eh? Bar now loaded for Josiah. 160 kilos. Seven and a half kilo jump. That is quite a jump for the bench press. You know, so when you start commentating, you have like a, a, a tone in your voice. Oh, like, go on. It's like a presenter voice, you know? You gotta like. Oh, cheers. Radio voice. Here we go, Josiah going in for his third attempt. Little sink. He gets it. That's still fast for the bar. It's the slowest lift of the day, but that's still a quick lift. Josiah leaving plenty in the tank today. Let's see if he'll pull out some big numbers on his deadlift. There we see Gus zoning in. Headphones off to Handless Samir. Bar is loaded. Mentioned by Faith. He does opt for that light lift off. Hands down by the judges, gets the command. A very light touch, and he, easy. That's not difficult. What do the judges think though? That is three white lights. Good lift. He'll be stoked with that. Penny now. 170 kilos being loaded up in the waiting area, getting locked in for his third and final bench for the day. He's locked in, gets a fist bump by the handler, Raynan. Raynan's been putting in a big shift, handling multiple people, competing himself. Compe yeah, the he bar did compete is yesterday. Loaded. Yes, competed yesterday. Now Penny on the platform. He's wearing that strength gear belt. A lot of benches in the upper weight class do like to prefer that belt. It is a little bit more uncommon for the bench press, but as you say, some benches do have their own nifty little tricks. Yep, you can. that's all yours, Ray. You deserve that. Now Penny on the platform, 170. Slow descent. Sinks that. Speedy. Wow, these third attempts are looking quick. Nice three white lights. Hey, he, he, Easy. Quicks that bow. He knew. He knew. Lifter and handler are happy. Now Khan, 180 kilos. Looking for redemption off his second attempt. Bar looks to be loaded up now. Just adjusting the rack heights a little bit. Checking over. He gets the command. He gets the tick, I should say. He walks out. Tightens the belt. Sets up. And again, opting for that light lift off. Yeah, he gets tight. Takes the bar. Let's see what he can do. Very light touch. Wow. Okay. Wow, he redeemed himself with that lift. That looked easier than his 167. He'll be very upset that he missed that on the second attempt because he had more in the tank there. He had a lot more in the tank. But however, he can't be upset with getting three white lights. Page now coming for 182.5. Page training out of both North Shore Barbell and Get Strength. Bar is loaded for Page. 
Onto the platform, let's go Paige. A lot of energy by Paige here tonight. Belts on. There he is. Gets tight under the bar. Light lift off. Here's the command. Light touch. Oh, does he have it? Down to nice. Unfortunately, doesn't quite have it in the tank. Good catch there from the spotters. There we have John and Ahmed catching the bar. Joe adding weight. Eat on the other side. Showing the judges those chip plates. So, for those of you at home that aren't too familiar with these chip plates, you can only use them when going for a record. So he is going for a provisional record on the bench press. Marius there just getting wrapped up. Locking in with his handler, Reynan. Going for a Auckland record. Switching now to the platform. Marius now approaching the platform. 191. Crowd is giving him some energy. Let's see it. Unracks it, gets the command. Very light touch. Nice. Oh, does he have it? Oh, he doesn't quite. Unfortunately, he does not quite get the record. I'm sure he'll get it next time though, so he doesn't need to be top all that. A lot of applause from the audience here today. We have a lot of friends and family coming out to watch their lifters. kgs milestone number currently forecasted second in his flight No easy feat right there. That is a big bench press. <laughs> Alex just mentioning some of these bench presses easily outlifting a lot of squats and deadlifts out there. So that is a lot of weight on the bar. Zoning in, tightening the wrist wraps. Here in the way we have Midville Films media team who's out here doing an absolute shift, getting a lot of nice footage for all these lifters. There we go. There we go. Getting a slap on the back, getting hyped, getting amped. Four red plates on the bar for James.
we're starting again now with our first attempt for flight B. And here we have Nick competing out of North Shore Barbell there on North Shore. He is handled by Jason Clark. I know he is coming off a 10 kilo squat PB. And his third squat, well, to be honest, looked like a bit of an opener. So we'll see if he can continue that momentum here onto the bench press. Coach, coach by John, no? Oh, sorry, my apologies. John, I both starting with Jay. Yeah. Thank you for that clarification there, right? Just getting strapped up onto the platform. Starting on two reads on the bar, light touch. Yup, that's quick. We have a policia walking out to 140 kilos in the bar. Oh, he's been asked to. There we go. He has to go off the stage to redo his wrist wraps. He's only got 30 seconds on the clock. I'm sure he'll get that done quickly. Hopefully, this doesn't mess with him. Thankfully, it is on his first attempt, so it should be an easy way for him to just walk through. So, 20 seconds now on the clock. Should just get it done nice and quick, securing his first opener. Nice. There we go. That's why you select a nice and easy way for your first attempt, just in case little things like that may happen. You do just want to get on the board with your first attempt at the end of the day. Sean now, Sean Smith, 145. Clean opener here from Sean. Do we have Paul asking for a light lift off?
Ridma, upon his retreat, so one of our international lifters coming out from Sri Lanka, and he does train out of North Shore Barbell. The bar is loaded for Ridma. Let's see what he can do with his opener. I'm sure, this will just be a nice, easy walk in the park for Ridma. He has hit this more times than I can remember in the gym. Ridma now with 160 kilos. There we go. Easy opener for Ridma. Nice work by Ridma. Next on stage will be Lekka. 170 kilos. Just shy of that three red plate and the collar. Lekka locking in now. <laughs> Bar is loaded for liquor. Unfortunately, only gets one white light there for an up and down movement. With the bench press, the bar cannot go up, down, and then back up. It does have to be one fluid upward motion. Spotting crew doing a great job out there today. Here we have John, Joe, Ahmed. Muffy and Ian all put in a shift. I know this is John's second session of the day. That is no easy feat. There's a bit of a cardio session for him, which, as I said, is not familiar for powerlifters. So it's impressive that he's able to do such a fantastic job here today. I know he has been going for runs recently, so I wonder has he been preparing for the sessions? Easy lift. Wow, that is quick. That is an opener. That is three white lights. Here we are, just shy of four red plates here for foul. I'm not sure you can hear it, but the crowd is going off the foul. He has a lot of friends, a lot of family here today. Down here at Colmar, Pepper Toy Toy. Wow, as Dion just mentioned, this is an opener. 220 kilos for an opener on the bench press. Unfortunately, one light. We'll have to get clarification. What was the two reds for? What, what is the yellow mean? Yellow uh, glutes off the bench. Uh, there we go. Clarification from Dion. His glutes came off the bench. So if you're not aware, the glutes do have to stay on the bench the entire lift. There cannot be any daylight between the glutes and the bench press. Unfortunately, that cost him his lift. But next up, we have Nick going for a seven and a half kilo jump on his second attempt. Getting chalked up by handler John. Trains out to get strength, John. He is a well-known name in the industry.
light touch, speedy second. Nick is making all his lifts very quick here today. He'll be ecstatic. Yeah, you can see him with a smile on his face. Fist bump in his handler, discussing what he wants to go for on his third attempt. Definitely a PB, I'm thinking. Next we have Carl, locking in, zoning in for his third attempt, sorry, second attempt, with 147 and a half. Oh, in the, in the back. Now Carl, 147.5 on the bar. Switch to that, sorry about that. Now, on the platform, Carl, 147.5. Nice work by Carl. That was a quick stock of mine. Three white lights there for Carl. Now in the waiting area, we have Sean. 150 kilos, just talking up now, next to the official bar is loaded for Sean. Cool, calm, 150 kilos. Decked out in the SPD gear. Come on, Sean. One of our major sponsors here. <laughs> Nick's on the platform, Apollosi, 150 kilos. A light touch gets it, not much of a sticking point there for Otto. Uh, he gets three white lights, no surprises there. Next up, we have Paul, five kilo jump here for Paul. You can see him just zoning in. Bar is loaded for Paul. Let's see what he can do with 155 kilos. Start command. Sinks it. Nice. That's steady. What do the judges think? Yup, three lights. No surprises there. Next up, we have Ridma. See Ridman just bopping away to his music. Hand the Karen, having to take his headphones away from him. He wipes his feet, gets more grip there on his shoes. Let's the head spot know what kind of lift off he wants. Lines up the bar. Let's go, Ridman. Not quite for Ridma. Good catch there from the lift, from the spotters, sorry. Unfortunately there for Ridma. It is quite a easy number there for Ridma, but sometimes it's not there on the day. 
but nonetheless good catch there from John and Ahmed two of our wonderful spotters that are making it possible to even be here today shout out to our volunteers shout out to Faith shout out to Dion shout out to co-host here Ray on the mic thanks guys handling the mic for a little bit today hopefully you guys are enjoying at home Lekka now attempting 170 kilos again on his second attempt. All the best. Nice work by Lekka with authority. The crowd is very supportive here tonight. Two to one white lights. All he needs is two white lights. Energy is picking up. a 12 and a half kilo jump. This is a monster jump to the bench press. Quite substantial for the bench press, but not unheard of at these weight classes. 195 now. What do you think of that one, Ray? Clean. A little bit interesting using the Hansu bar. Slightly different. A little bit more of an aggressive Merlin compared to the Aleko. Now, 220. Foul, so he did miss his opener. We'll see if he can redeem it on his second attempt here. With 220 kilos, that is a humongous bench press. I'm hoping for his sake he's able to push through this one, tick it off. And he can move on to his third attempt. There we see him walking out to the platform. The crowd, the crowd are here for him. Let's go. Now, two twenty on the bar. Slow descent. Unfortunately, the crowd started cheering for him though. Now, Nick, 137.5. Third attempt, so maximal effort by our lifters here today. Just getting chalked up by his handler, John. Nick, I'm the bar up. Dicked out in the A7 black suit. Nick now. With the Converses, quite a popular choice for quite of our lifters. It is a mm. well known shoe in the industry. Hard Souls. 137 now. Ops with self lift off. Here's the command. Light touch. Come on, Nick. Fight it. Pushes it, a little bit of a slicking point. What do the judges think now? Alright, that's a good lift. Nick will be stoked. There he is, giving a fist bump to his co lifters that come out of North Shore Barbell. He has a well known name there. That's a, that's a lunch bar that we've seen here. Uh, now approaching the bar for 152.5 kilos.
<laughs> That's not there, is it? Now up a lossy 155. Be happy with that. That is a good looking third lift. Now Paul with 160 kilos. That is very white lights. Here we have Sean, he only took a 5 kilo jump on his second attempt, but now a 10 kilo jump on his third attempt. Needs to re rack the bar. I believe it's for his. Is that for his fingers over the ring? Right. So if you're not familiar at home, one of the rules you do have to cover the ring with one of your fingers. The judge cannot see the ring. And it does catch a lot of lifters off. Oh, that is unlucky for him. What is. Bit of an unfortunate third lift there. Yeah, for at home, the uh, ring does have to be covered by the finger. The kid judge cannot see it. It does catch a lot of lifters off guard that are maybe a little bit newer to the sport. So you can't, you can't even have your hand fully within the ring, or no, so, has to be covered. So the sorry, so your hand cannot be outside of the ring. Right. So if your yeah. hand is outside of the ring, it does have to be covering the ring. But if it's inside of the ring, it does You're not okay. does okay, not yeah. need to be covering the ring. Got it. Now, Ridma. It's only if it's from outside. Yeah. Yeah. 167.5, re-attempting yeah. his second attempt. Yeah. So people can't... Do we have Ridma opting for that light lift off? Let's see if he can redeem himself. Gets the start command. Oh, not quite here for Ridma. He does just give out nice and early, which is quite a beneficial thing to actually do because it saves your energy. There's no point fighting the lift if you're not going to get it. It's better to save your energy, better to come back on those dead lifts and just utilize that energy. So it is a good tactic there from Ridma. Unfortunately, you'd prefer to, to get the lift, but in worst case scenario, sometimes just dropping the lift is the better call. Now, Lekka, 182.5, a big increase. Come on, Lekka. Called by the ref. Oh, unfortunate. Unfortunate. Looks like some Can downwards we... motion. What are we thinking, Evie? 
There we have clarification from EV. Box slash feet moved during the lifts. That is what the yellow card stands for. Okay, there we go. Shout out to EV for that. Expert in the sport. If you know anything about Powell, then you do probably know EV. EV Corrigan. EV Corrigan. I would shout her Instagram, but I'm sure everyone here already follows her anyway. Now Stanley attempting 202.5 kilos on the bench press. Nice work by Stanley. And he get a little bit slow on the left side, but he gets that. I think that's a good lift. What do the judges think? Yep, the judges Very agree. Right, like, nice. Here with Foul, he missed his first two attempts, so he does need to get this lift. There we have announced by Dion and Faith he needs this lift. He needs this lift. Faith and Dion clarifying that you do need a lift to stay in the competition in each of the each of the three lifts. So he does need to put a number on the board. Let's go. Let's get behind him. Come on. I'm an optimist. I think he's got it in him. He'll fight through it. Sure the crowd's gonna be behind him for this lift. Gets the commands. Shakes it. Find it! Come on! Find it! Yeah, we The crowd, the crowd He's done it. Back online for us, and the crowd is going wild here. <laughs> so that concludes our bench session for Flight B. Just packing up the bench. We're just going to get the deadlift set up, um, and we'll be back after a 10 minute intermission. See you guys here back here in 10 minutes for the deadlifts.
Alright team, we'll be back starting up the deadlifts in a couple of minutes now. Platform is just getting loaded up for our first lifter, Gus. So the rules of the deadlift are quite simple. You just walk out there, there's no start commands. Some of our lifters do actually think there's a start command, but no, there's no start command on the deadlift. So don't wait around for start commands. And then what you have to do is you have to get the bar up, lock out, so your shoulders have to be back behind the line of your hips. Locking your knees out, no upwards or downwards motion on the bar. And then when you've locked out, the head judge will give you a down command and you have to lower the bar below your knees before it can come out of your hands. And then that is the rules of the deadlift. The bar is loaded. And there's two styles. Here we have the conventional style, which is narrow feet, arms outside the feet. Powerful, that is a quick opener for Gus. Oh, we might have to just hit that one. Huh? Angle one. Here we have Angelo on his opener, 210 kilos. There is the sumo stance. So the sumo stance is where your legs are outside the width of your arms. There we go. Good luck for Angelo. Next we have Jamie Baker Stevens walking out for his deadlift at 220 kilos, just shy of the four red plates. I'm sure, this will be a walk in the park for old Jamie though. Wayne opening the deadlift at 225. So Wayne coming out, born and bred in Canada, but now resides here in New Zealand. Standing there with his headphones on, takes them off, Jessica slaps him on the back, he walks out, he looks confident to me. I've seen him do much, much more than this in the gym. Wayne smokes that. Wayne, Air Force Logistic Manager by day, absolute monster power the by night. Next we have Sean King coming out. He's another North Shore barbell lifter. New Zealand's number one uh, head spotter. There we go. Dion has just announced he's number one New Zealand head spotter. However, he wasn't out here spotting today. He needed to focus here on his competition, which is fair enough. He does have a little bit of a shoulder injury coming into this. But the shoulder shouldn't impact his deadlifts too much. Mm. It's not utilized a whole lot, but yeah, there we go. Jerrigan needs to go up a little bit more. Yeah. Cool.
we go. David running up, setting up sumo stance. And there he is pulling a hook grip. So for those of you at home, hook grip is a different style. It's where you're, both your hands are over the bar. And you really utilize your thumb. It is quite painful, but a lot of lifters do prefer that to the more conventional mixed grip style. Now Shaw with 265 kgs. it out with authority nice now. lifting up 272.5 kilos unlike our spotter John who failed it yesterday but he made that one look like a walk in the park next we have James coming out to five red plate deadlifts Five reds, that is a that is a lot of plates. Dion nodding his head because he actually smoked this one in training yesterday. We'll see if James is able to do the exact same thing here today on the platform. Wow. Nice yeah. work Easy. by James. Really now you might notice he's actually wearing wrist wraps for his deadlift, which is a little bit more unconventional, but it can actually benefit them with grip strength. A lot of those lifters that have monster deadlifts do like to utilize that. Next we have Josiah coming out. He has, his last six lifts have all looked like warm-ups. He's either saving his energy for the deadlifts or he is just an absolute monster and having an RP five day. We'll see what he can do with five reds, a yellow and a collar. Chalked up, conventional. Deep breath, hook grips, hook grip and rip. 
Yeah, that's quick. Nice. I expect nothing less from Josiah after the day he's had. There we see John tightening up the plate on the deadlift. One of our spotters here today. Alongside Ian, Ahmed, Joe and Muffy, head spotter. Wouldn't be able to do it without them. We also have judges Teresa, Glenn and Aria. Alongside me, Ray on the mic. Shout out to all the volunteers. We would not be here this weekend without them. Now, 300 kilos wow. moving quick. Make that move like an empty bar. Good work. Announced by Faith, we're on our segment teams here of Flight A of the Deadless. I blinked and I missed that lift, that was that quick. Four red plates there for Gus. Next we have Angelo coming up with the 225 kilos, the four red plates, a milestone lift for most. set off, still 20 seconds on the clock, takes the slack from the bar, rips it, rips it, gets a down command, he also gets three white lights go alongside that, this bump by Raynan, a little bit of a hand shake in terms of his thoughts on the lift, we'll see what he goes for next, but next we have Jamie Baker-Stevens coming out for 200. 32.5. Yeah, that looks like good lift. Three white lights. Big Wayne on. There with his hand with Jessica. Jessica actually competed yesterday. So shout out to her for coming back to the competition to volunteer and help out with Wayne. It's not an easy task competing and then coming out and handling these lifters. You do need to be on to it. You do need to be, it's quite a hard task. True. But more importantly, Wayne, Walks, walks 240. Easy. Easy. Sun now just coming through the shutters at 5.07 if you're watching from overseas. Over here in Colmar, Papa Toy Toy, South Auckland at the event centre. Next we have Sean King coming out with a 20 kilo jump. Bar is loaded. Hard stop. Is that hard stop? Yes, this is a bit too chill for a deadlift day. Harder. Um, 
way. Wow, almost a 20 kilo jump there for Penny. And he gets three white lights for him. David coming out just shy of that five red plate deadlift. But this is a uh, big number still. Bar is loaded for David, 272.5 kilos. David, he's let his hair down for this. Let's see if he can pick the bar up. Oh, does he have it? Oh, yeah, that's a good lift. Yeah. Oh, did he drop it? Yep, three white lights. Even with the mouth guard in his mouth. Good lift. Shah. 275 kilos. Currently totaling 800 kilos. 800. Pulls it. Let's slow the lockout. Gets it down, command. He only gets one lucky. Only one white light. Two eighty-seven point five. Currently totaling seven hundred kilos. That is a good total. Nice slip by Paige. Gets a down command from Mario, and he also gets red light lights. Pulls with authority. Confident lift there. Icon. Three white lights. He's just shy of that 300 kilo mark. But with the way he's been going today, I'm sure he'll be smoking more than 300 on the third attempt.
nice pool for 297.5. Now James looking to skill 300 on the platform. James now on the platform, attempting to hit 300. Confident pull by James. Three white lines as expected. Awesome energy from the crowd here tonight. Six reds loaded. Six reds. Unfortunately, he just did not lock his knees out before the commands, so he does not get the lift. So back to round three of the deadlifts in flight A here down at Colmar, Pepper Toy Toy. This is where the crowd, the lifters really do get into it. There's something about the deadlifts. There's just something about picking a weight up off the ground. Now Angelo on the platform. 230 kilos, slight adjustment to the barbell position. Belt on. Belt's locked up. Going for his third and final deadlift of the session. Looking for a quick one. Nice! The battle! The battle! Unfortunately, just a little bit too heavy for today. Three reds. Says thanks to the judges. Great sportsmanship by Angelo there. Gus now on the platform going for 235. Stomps the feet. He's ready. Three white lines for Gus to tick off his day. Next we have Jamie coming out for his final lift. Let's see if he can secure his third deadlift to round out a good day here for Jamie. Fortunately, he doesn't quite have it. Still gives the judges a fist bump, fist sportsmanship. We always do like to see that. Wayne, North Shore Barbell resident lifter. He's been a, he's had a phenomenal day so far. Let's see if he can go nine for nine on the deadlift. 
Music is ramping up for him. He walks out. He's calm when he comes out. He's not worried. Deep breath. Grips it. Wow. Yeah. That is a very speedy third attempt there for Wayne. Gives it just for the handshake. I'm sure they're stoked with that. Wayne, nine from nine. Next out, Shark coming out to redeem himself on five red plates. Slapped on the back. Let's see. Chalk on his head. He's ready. Stomps his feet. Locks in. This is a big hit. Secures it on his third and final. Let's see the ref call. Downwards motion of the bar on the lockout. Also, I do believe he may have pitched that lift. Potentially. Next, we have Sean King. North Shore Barbell Lifter coming out for five plates. Let's see if he can, uh, if he can get it. Sean. The Zen brother himself tightens the belt. Cool, calm, collected. Deep breath. Grips it. Rips it. Does he have it? Fight it, Sean. You got this. Fight it. Keep going. Fight it. Does quite have it. Good effort from Sean King. Overall, you do have to be happy with that. With the circumstances, you do have to be happy with your performance there. Now, David. Yeah, the crowd. The crowd are behind them. Phones are out. Can he put on a clinic? Let's go, David. Come on. He gets it, does he? What do the judges think? He gets it! Three white lights for David! The crowd go wild. The crowd love it. The crowd are here for him. Now, Penny, 285. For his last deadlift attempts. Come on, Penny! Come on, Penny! Let's go! Gets it! No questions about that one. Secure the left, 285. Yes, it's right. Good work. Good say, Give the back slaps on the walk off. That is a big left there. Marius now approaching that nearly close to 300 mark at 295. <laughs> there we go, Marius on his third attempt. Jessica. There's 
the hype that she's talking about. Now Paige going for big 300 kilos on the bar. He grips it. Go on. Unfortunately, not. It was a It was a good attempt there by Paige. There he is, giving the judges a handshake each. That's good sportsmanship for him. The three judges we have are Teresa, Aria, and Glenn himself. Wouldn't be able to do it without them. Alongside the spotters, John, Joe, Ian, Ahmed, and Muffy himself, the head spotter. Shout out to the volunteers. Once again, wouldn't be here without them. There he is, coming out. In excess of 300 kilos, 305. 45 seconds on the clock to complete the lift. An excellent 305. Not sure if you guys can hear me at home with that crowd. That is a monster jump from Desire. That is a no. 25 kilo jump. 25 kilo jump. Perhaps trying to secure a podium finish. Yeah, this will move him to first place actually. And after a day like he's had today, wouldn't be surprised to see him get this up. Did you just say his first call? Jessica Drake, confirm this is his first competition. Let's see, does he have it in him? He has. Wilder Twins has been saving himself for his third attempt. The crowd get behind him. There we go. He grips it. on the bar, attempting for the second time today. I'm a Palesi, let's go. Six red plates. That is a lot of red plates. that one out at the top. Unfortunately, three is right there. Yeah. Now, James, 325. Again, a huge jump. Big 25 kilo jumps for James. Sportsmanship by James just thanking the refs there, volunteering their time. And that's the position. Flight one. A. Flight A, I should say, position one. Now, flight B.
Now Paul, 235. Paul walks 235 kilos. There we go, Nick. Okane coming out from North Shore Barbell on his first deadlift of the day. In the converse. Yup, there he is. There we go. Standard speed for Nick. Yup. After a day that Nick has been having, I wouldn't be surprised to see him pull an absolute rip of a PB by the end of the day. Lekka now, 240 kilos. In the open raw, 120. Come on, Lekka. Let's go. Man doesn't miss. Nice. Man does not miss. For his first deadlift after redemption, third attempt to be lift. Ben, sorry. Yeah, there we go. He's here to prove a point. He gets the three white lines. Unfortunately, three red lights there for Sean. Paul coming out for his opening deadlift at 300 kilos.
back on with Carl now. 300 kilos. Yes, you are. We're out 10 kilos here for Stanley. Swinging his arms like a windmill, just like he blew through that deadlift. Two white lights for four. Up a now, 250 kgs. 30 kilo jump from the second attempt. And just like Apollosi just stood up with that deadlift. <laughs> Next, Nick. Lifting out of North Shore Barbell, coming up to 255 kilos. This might be a PB for Nick. This could be. After a day like he's had, I'm sure he'll be pulling PBs. Come on, Nick. Let's go, Nick. <laughs> Casual. Nice work, Nick. Nick's on the platform. Lekka. 255 kilos. Bar is loaded for liquor. Let's see it. <laughs> nah, he goes for liquor. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay, cool. I was like, is that another person? Let's go, liquor. Let's go, liquor. Pulls that slack. Nice. Fast. Locks it out. No question from the judges there. Three white lights. Sean now, 285, warmed up in the waiting room, belt is on. Bar is loaded for Sean, 285, re-attempting his opening weight, decked out in the red and black SPD. Nice. Ooh. Didn't quite lock that one out. And three red lights. I'm sure he will try that again for his third attempt. Next on the platform, we have... We have 290 kilos. A lot of support in the crowd.
290 kilos, sumo stance. Rips it, rips it, he gets it. Nice. Wait for the ref call. Three red, white lights. Awesome lifting today. Now Ridma, 292.5 for a second attempt. Ridma has previously pulled 300. And the bar is loaded for Ridma. Now. Let's, let's go, move. Ridma. There he is. Nice work by Ridma. Three white lights secured the lift. Now we have Carl going for 320 kilos. In the 120 kilo men's open. Bar's just being loaded up. Carl in the waiting area. Yeah, we have Muffy wiping down the bar, just getting rid of some of the excess chalk. Carl now on the platform, 320 kilos. Nice work by Carl. Both stance, overhand conventional, three wide lines for Carl. Now Stanley, 330 kilos, let's see the call by the refs, three white lights, good lift. Now moving on the third attempt for our final flight of the competition and final session of the comp as well. Paul now looking to pull 255. Bar is loaded for Nice work by Paul. Ooh, just slips out of his hand. Unfortunately, you do have to bring it down in a controlled manner. Nico came with 260 on the bar. Let's go, Nick. Come on, buddy. Get up for it. Come on, Nick. Let's go, Nick. PR territory, I believe. Come on, rip it up. Yeah. 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 Get it, Nick. Pull it. Pull it. Pull it. He gets the command. What do they think? Two white lights for Nick. Nice work. He's stoked. He's ecstatic. Giving John his hammer a massive hug. He's Maybe. happy with that. There he is. He is Good work by Hugs Nick. Hugs all around. Wow. Now, Lekka. You gotta, you gotta love it for the comp competitors when they hit PRs. You can tell it really means something to them. Now on the platform, Lekka going for 265. This is PR territory for Lekka. He's looking ecstatic. Let's see it move, Lekka. Come on, Lekka. Big pull. 
Yes! Come on! Got it! Couldn't quite lock it out. But still an awesome competition and a massive effort put up by Lekka. Now, 270 kilos. Let's go! Let's go! Do it! Do it! No, he doesn't quite have it. Unfortunately, he couldn't quite lock that out. Just lost balance by the Next up, we have Sean, 285. Next, Sean. He's the pole versus he's missed his first two deadlifts. Looking to pull 285 for his last and final. Miss this on his first and second. We're so looking to secure. Everyone's behind him here today. Come on, Sean. Big pull here. Come on! Nice! Did he get it? Ooh. So unfortunate. Unlucky. Couldn't just lock it out there. Now, Ridma. In the warm-up area, handled by Karen, looking to pull a big 300 deadlift for his last deadlift of the session. Is this the first time he's pulling 300? I believe he's built this in in competition before. Sounds about right. But now Ridma on the platform. Ridma, here he comes. Let's go, Ridma, the Sri Lankan Superman, walks up to the bar. Can he pull it? He pulls it! He gets it! Does he get the command? He got the command. What do the judges think? They give him three red lights. Unfortunately, he doesn't quite get that lift. <laughs> Pull now at 310 kilos. Bar is now loaded for full. 310 kilos. doesn't quite have it in him today. He gives them a handshake. Glenn, Aria, and Teresa are our three judges here today. Alongside all our spotters putting in a shift. Now, Carl looking to pull an Auckland record at 340.5 kilos. A big 20.5 kilo jump from his last deadlift. Looking to just chip the record. Let's get behind him. Let's get behind him. Let's go. Let's go, Carl.
they're looking to take each other. Oh, no, no, no. We, we got that in. Yeah, yeah. Now Stanley looking to pull 343.5 kilos. Another huge lift. Another record. Records broken here tonight, concluding our session for deadlifts. Let's give a final shout out to all the spotters John, Muffy, Ahmed, Ian, Joe himself. Fantastic shift from them. Our three new judges, Teresa, Aria, and Glenith. Shout out to Faith, shout out to Dion, shout out to Evie for hosting the competition, shout out to the volunteers, shout out to the handlers, the coaches. We would not be here without any of you. Shout out to the lifters. You made it what it is today. Shout out to my co-host, Ray Mondo. Thank you, Brogan. Now we'll move on to the awards ceremony, which will be streamed um, live after this. We will have a small intermission before that ceremony. Cool.
Done, so we've just got one more to go, and then we'll just double check everything tonight. Um, and if there's anything we feel like it's missing, we'll let you know. And for that stuff, maybe just upload. Oh, right, it's lucky yeah, yeah, yeah. That's easy. Okay. 
I think that's it. It looks like it's it. to reject. Yep. Um, I'll be here, actually.